And then, how does that compare to the last time they cast you as a character on our universe? Uh, well, the Stargate, the whole Stargate family has been a great one uh, for me because I started out, uh, I don't know if some of you guys know, but I started out doing stunt work. And uh, I was, I played Jafaz, I played SG-1 members, and I'd always be in the explosions or the fight scenes getting shot by Richard Dean Anderson. I remember Richard Dean looking at me one time and saying, how many times have I killed you? <laughs> and I said, I don't know, they keep asking me back. So, um, so I was very fortunate. And, uh, and then eventually, by season eight, uh, Andy Makita, who, uh, if you guys know, is a director and producer of, of the Stargate, all of the Stargates, I think, at this point. And um, what ended up happening was, Andy was like, I've been hearing you're an actor and all this stuff. I, I know you're a stuntman, but... And I said, yeah, and he said, well, you, you speak Russian, right? And I said, well, I can speak some Russian, but I'm Serbian. So I'm fluent in Serbian. And he said, well, that's similar to Russian, isn't it? And I said, yeah. So then they asked me to come in and read for uh, Colonel Chernovshev, which was uh, on full alert. And I read, and I got the part, and Michael Greenberg was like, why didn't you tell me you were an actor? I would have had you on the show. I wouldn't have waited eight years to get you on. But I said, I guess it just worked out that way. So... Um, and after, after that, I was fortunate enough to get cast again uh, in Bounty uh, as Odai Ventrell. And, uh, and at that point, uh, the character, I don't know if you guys remember from SG-1, but he, Odai Ventrell ended up cat capturing Natan, who was the bad, quote unquote, the bad guy. And then at the time, their plans were to continue with me as the bad guy, but unfortunately, the, the show got canceled. So those plans went out the window, and then uh, I thought that was it for all of the, uh, the Stargates. And then in Atlantis, they had a big search for uh, this runner character who was called Kirik. And I played Kirik. I ended up getting, getting cast in it with Will Waring was directing it. And, uh, and that again was a, the same thing where I didn't think they'd want to see me because I'd already done a show. But luckily enough for me that they had me on and they had a search and I guess it worked out well and uh, I ended up playing Kirik. And then SGU came along, and I was like, oh, I wanted, you know, I, I remember reading the Colonel Young character, and then they were asking me about my availability, if I'd be interested. But then, um, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but uh, obviously they were interested in Louis uh, Ferreira, who ended up getting it. But um, MGM at that time said, we can't have Mike in sci-fi because he was too well known as, I was too well known as Keurig from Atlantis. But they said, hang in there though, we, we'd love to have you, we're trying to come up with a character, and then hence Varro came up, and uh, they asked me if I'd be willing to do it, and I said, of course. Um, you know, there's something about working with people that you like, and people that are good, and, and I was very fortunate again with the producers and the writers and directors on, on all the Stargates, uh, I think really care about their actors, and they're great to work with, the sets are run so well, and the cast has always been phenomenal. So for me, it was just a pleasure. To, yes, I'll, you know, I didn't even know. I remember telling my agent, I'll do it, whatever. I'll just do it. And uh, they were like, well, hold on a second. We've got this other show you're on. I said, I don't care. Let's make it work. We can make it work. And luckily enough, they wanted me. And then uh, I became viral. <laughs>